Welcome, this is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred. Today I wanted to share with you a great idea I had on how to make your own homemade garden labels. So I'm glad you could join me today. I'm down here in my workshop. Uh, when we started to plant Smart Living last July 2015, you know, I use your standard garden labels. You know, they come in the pack and other various types over the years. And, uh, you know, they never seem to be large enough or you'd lose them and, you know, the lettering not big enough. And so over the winter time, I really thought long and hard here about how I could make a homemade garden label that's affordable, that's uh, easy to install, and it's going to last a long, long time. Well, anyhow, being in the construction business for 40 years, you know, through the years when I've built some additions and, and even a few houses, you know, you use what's called a metal cross bridging. And you can get these at home centers. They're, this is 20 inches long and they have a nice flat, both ends have a nice flat, flexible end. The purpose of, of these were to Mount, install these in between your floor joists to keep the distribute the load on your flooring. Well, anyhow, I thought I could use one of these as a pole for the uh, garden label. And what I did is I had a sheet of quarter inch uh, plexiglass laying around. Uh, you could use a quarter inch corian or any type of material, really wood if you even wanted to, but the plexiglass works better or the quarter inch corian. Uh, because it, it's uh, going to hold up outside in the weather. And um, so I have one here I just finished making, and I, I used a, a Sharpie marker and I just wrote on there spinach. And also, another way you can do it is you, if you have a, a laminator, you could make your signs of your vegetables and then laminate them, and then maybe use a double faced tape and to install it on your 3x5. Uh, card there and so I may end up getting a laminator and trying that way uh, and so so again like I said I, I these were three inch by five inch and I I bought a bunch of these at a home center or Lowe's or Home Depot they're only like 60 cents a piece and so I have like a, a good dozen or more here a whole pile and so what I'm going to do is just take a few minutes and show you how to make these. They're really simple to do. And so being 3 inch by 5 inch, you know, you just take the back of it and mark center on it, which is 2 and a half. And then I came back 3 eighths of an inch, which is center of one of these uh, bridge, uh, cross bridging, because these are about 3 quarter inch wide. And then I'm just simply going to take my, my combination square and put a mark there. And then line the piece of cross bridging up on the 3x5 piece of plexiglass. And I'm going to just drill two holes through here. And this is about a, an eighth inch drill bit. And then this. The uh, machine screws I use, it's a, th these are 3 eighths of an inch long, they're a 6 by 32 inch thread and so obviously I'm going to use two of those and then I also have a countersink bit here that I'm going to turn it over and then countersink the other side. Now if you don't have a countersink bit you can just use a larger drill bit the head of that and just sink it in ever so slightly. And so simply all you're going to do is just uh, with both, both holes drilled, I'm going to put my top one in and get the nut started behind it. It's always a little tricky on these smaller th machine screws. And this one's giving me trouble.
There you go. And then let's get the bottom one in. So then what I'm going to do is just get a pair of pliers, hold them from behind. Tighten the other one up. Bring them up real good. So they're nice and snug. So there you go, you have a garden label. Again, you could take a Sharpie marker and label your vegetable on there and the date when you planted it. And uh, you'll have a nice garden label out there in your garden. And uh, like I said, you could even get a, a laminator and make your own signs. That way the lettering is nice and accurate and clear. And uh, you know, these, this is galvanized metal on the, on the pole here and then the plexiglass or the Corian, of course, would, you know, uh, last for, you know, decades out there in your vegetable garden. So anyhow, I hope you, you like this garden tip here. I think they're, they're going to be really handy to have out in your garden. And again, like I, I put spinach on there. And so, so, and what's nice too is once they're, you know, you can eat, and then you can also either screw them into your, if you have a raised vegetable bed, you could screw them on the outside of your vegetable, your bed there, or you could just stick them down in the dirt, but also then the heads will pivot because it's flexible steel up top. And that's the one nice feature about using these metal cross bridging. And so they'll be nice and legible uh, with Plant Smart Living here when I, now when I go out with the, the movie camera, then I can film these and you'll be able to see where each vegetable I'm growing and it'll be labeled and it'll give you the, the time, time of when I planted that. And so, uh, so anyhow, I hope this uh, garden tip has been helpful for you. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the section below. So I just want to thank you for joining me today. So until next time, this is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred.